what's going on guys welcome back to another video and if you guys caught my last video I talked about my 2007 f-150 that I purchased years back and basically how big of a shit show it was so when the time came to purchase another vehicle I said I'm not gonna go out of state I drove five hours for my last truck and it just it was a just it sucked because of how many issues I had so I decided this time around I would just stay local, find something nearby. Worst case, maybe I'd drive a couple hours away. Sometimes you gotta drive sometimes to get what you want. And since I wasn't buying brand new, that was kind of the deal. Luckily for me, the truck that I currently have now, my 2013, I purchased locally at, at you know, town 30 minutes away from me. So it was just an easy, easy transaction. Now, I bought this truck in 2016 and the truck's a 2013, so it's three years old. I bought it with 18,000 miles. The newer body styles were out. I wanted the newer body style, but I didn't want to spend that much. And this truck came up. The truck was three years old when I purchased it. It was basically brand new with 18,000 miles. I mean, mint. Uh, the guy who owned it, I guess, worked five minutes from home, just drove it up the street back, which is why it had 18,000 miles for a three-year-old truck. Now, when I purchased the truck, though, I will say the truck the tag on it was 38 grand. I think it was almost 39. I ended up getting the truck for literally $37,000 out the door. And they wouldn't go any lower. The only thing that really like I was concerned about was buying a truck that was three years old and like the whole deal with warranties. I think it was a three year, 60,000 mile warranty on the powertrain, but I don't. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, I, I honestly can't remember, it's been so long. It basically had all recon lights, it had the fiberglass tonneau cover, it had no decal back there. It had these wheels actually, and I've went through two different sets of tires now, pair of grapplers, and then onto the ridge grapplers, and now to the kind of cleavers. So for $37,000, this is what I basically purchased. It had the factory HID front end, I stuck the more motos on there. I loved the projector front end, but I, eventually switched to the more motos so aside from just the physical appearance of the truck i mean that for one it already had the leveling kit things like that if you've watched my other videos you probably know it came with the full i don't even know what package truck this is i can't remember but it's the one with the leather navigation but i upgraded the navigation to the sync 3. i didn't pay cash for the truck i did get a loan on it the one thing that i was very concerned about was what i was going to pay monthly for the truck and kind of the same thing with my house like it was like I had a budget number in mind but the more and more you look the more and more you're like I should just pony up spend a little more and get what I want or that I'm gonna be truly happy with so I did not want to spend this much on the truck but I ended up spending more than what I wanted to but I got this truck first two or three weeks I just was kind of like man like I had the buyer's remorse thing going on because I just wasn't you know that's a big purchase you know at the time for me for what I was making so I've had this truck for you know a total a little over six years and it's paid for I love that the truck is paid for now I'm just gonna save up some cash and I just don't really know uh, which way I'm gonna go I, I think I'm just gonna continue on driving this thing for a while we have 160,000 miles on the clock right now we need to show you guys the latest and greatest. So, Wrigley. So, everything's hand drawn, hand cut, airbrushed. They came out uh they came out pretty dope. Wrigley, are you happy with them? He said yes. We got to meet up and get these off to their rightful owners, at least three anyway, and we gotta run a few more errands. We just took the Wrigley man for a walk. That's you, that's him. The truck's paid for, I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna drive it for a bit, now, the next truck, what is it going to be, Wrigley? I think what we're going to do for the next truck is either going to be a Gen 2 Raptor or... Okay, so I've always just said my next truck's a Raptor. Like, I just don't think about it, right? But then when I think about the price of a Gen 2 Raptor, I'm like, man, I don't know. I don't know. So it's either going to be an F-150 or a Gen 2 Raptor. So my thought is, I get a 2018. I'm thinking white. I got. I like the white. 
So if I do an XLT, if I do an XLT with the charcoal grill, and then I'm gonna black it out, probably stick on some black, more motos or Alpha Rex headlights. I'm not sure yet. I, you know, I, I I'm, I, I've already kind of contemplated what kind of build I'll do, and I will get rid of the cloth seats and put the. I think I'll do, try out those leather cat skins covers. And then I'm thinking 17 inch wheels with 35s on a level. We're not going to do an actual lift kit. Now, is that going to happen? I don't know, but that's for sure the two scenarios that will happen. So I did a six year loan with this truck, my monthly payment for six years. So the truck was actually, you know, the truck was 37,000 and then I put down three grand. So I actually had a loan for 34 grand for six years. I want to say the interest rate was like 5% or five and a half. So my monthly payment was four, just right under $500 a month. I've, that's pro I think that's pretty average nowadays, but that's why I'm just not in a huge hurry to get another truck. I really want the Gen 2 Raptor just because who doesn't when you see when they look sweet. But at the same time, I'm thinking if I do go the XLT route, I just I want to get away from the big wheel since I have 22s. I want to go to a smaller wheel. So I want to go to the 17s and 35s. I guess if you get a Raptor that already has that set up. But that's why I'm kind of just thinking an XLT build right now. It just doesn't make sense to sell my truck. I, it's paid off. It's only got 160,000 miles kind of high kind of isn't so I don't really know which direction I want to go I don't even know what my trucks technically worth so like I kind of need your guys's opinion on what you guys think it's worth right now with the current truck market so 2013 160,000 miles I it does have some rust starting and I hate it but I'm in Iowa I drive the truck I have to drive in the winter time it's just a part of life I know if, you, if you're really, really good about keeping your truck quarter panels clean, it'll help. But, you guys can see, it's got that rust starting right here. And then on the other side as well, it's not as bad on the other side. It don't really bother me as much as it used to when it first started, but it's just kind of, it, it happens. I mean, unless you plan to swap out your vehicle every two years here in Iowa, you're gonna have a vehicle that rusts unless you just don't drive it that much in the snow. But we got 160,000 miles on the truck. It's got the leather package. I think I'll sell it with the Sync 3 display. You know, it's got the bed liner, the tonneau. I'll probably just sell it with the Alpha Rex tail lights. I mean, I'm pretty much gonna just sell it the way it is. So, I mean, it's. I did get a quote on fixing the rust, right? And they told me. The guy that I talked to told me, I think he could bondo it for 700 bucks, bondo paint, but it's not gonna last that long. He said, or he could weld in, you know, complete new metal, which he has the pieces already. And I think he said, I wanna say 1500 installed, painted and everything. So I've kind of thought about doing that. That would make me have to put the truck in the shop and I don't have another vehicle. I, I don't know, I feel like, I've seen trucks this year with this many miles in the $20,000 range. I feel like my truck, it drives straight. Like it drives straight, smooth. Like I don't ever really do anything stupid to this truck. I don't really hit curbs. Um, I mean, if you were to drive the truck, it speaks for itself. When I sold my 2007, the guy drove it around the block and he was like, here's the cash. He literally had the cash on him. Kind of the same deal with this truck. So if I did sell it, that would be a hefty down payment to my next truck. I don't know. I don't. I just don't think right now it's it's good to sell it in the fact that vehicles are going for more, but I'm also going to pay for more. It's like I've had this truck for six years. I kind of want something new, but at the same time, I'm still like, I still love this truck. Like, I just don't see the point in upgrading. I mean, I've put all this money into making it the way I want it. I think we're just going to keep on driving it and maybe do. I don't even think there's anything I want to do. I've been thinking about exhaust for it, but... I like the quietness. If you made it to the end, I appreciate it. And you already know what to do if you guys like this content. And I will come back at you with more in the Wrigley Man. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.